What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review a new Netflix film that is streaming right now. It is titled Don't Move. It's a thriller slash horror. Um, it is produced by Sam Raimi, directed by Brian Netto and Adam Schindler, and it stars Kelsey Asbile and Finn Whitrock. But before I get into this, I need you to hit that subscribe button. I need you to hit that like button. I need you to leave comments. When, the, when you're done with this review, tell me how you thought this film went. Tell me your thoughts on this film. And shout out to all my lovely subscribers that are already with me. But you know what we got to do? We got to keep this channel going and growing, right? We got to keep it going and growing. You know, so, you know, leave comments down there. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit the subscribe button. Keep me in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Keep me going. All right. I'm done with all the begging, right? That was enough begging, right? Let's get down to this review of Don't move. Now, like I said, it stars Kelsey Asbile as Iris. And poor Iris, she's hurting. She's suffering. She's depressed because she lost her child in a terrible accident. Terrible. He fell off the cliff. But here's the thing. Her and her husband and the child went up this mountain and her and her husband decided to carve their names in the tree Nobody's paying attention to the little boy, and the little boy is playing, and he falls off the cliff. So now, you know, Iris decides to revisit this cliff. She can't deal with the pain of losing a child. And so she's about, she has a pocket knife, and she has her son's toy boat, and she's ready to jump and end her life. So as she's about to do that, there's a man who she meets by the name of Richard, played by Finn Whitrock. And he kind of talks, he does talk her off of the ledge. So I was like, okay. So I'm invested because I'm like, wow, this is, okay, let's see what's going on here. And um, he ends up being a psycho killer who kidnaps her. And there's this cat and mouse game that's going on here. She manages to get away from him, but he tells her, sweetheart, I injected you with a serum. And that's going to paralyze you and such and such time limit. So we're going to watch her body shut down. He said, oh, we're going to have fun with this because your body's soon going to shut down. So the premise pretty much is it should have been called can't move instead of don't move because she, she ain't going to be able to move. But it's called don't move. That's why they're calling it don't move. But it should be called can't move or stuck or stiff. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. Poor Iris's body is shutting down. Well, that would have been body shut down. No, that probably wouldn't have been a good title, right? Body shut down. But her, her poor body is shutting down. But I like this because this is like, I like those edge of the seat things. And I'm invested because I already feel sorry for Iris. And now you done got, you about to kill yourself. He talks you off the ledge only for him to kidnap you and try to kill you. And I'm like, okay. This is good. This is going to be good. So I like that. And I like this whole premise of the, the the cat and mouse thing, the suspense thing going on. And what is she going to do? How is she going to get, how is she going to survive? You know what I mean? Especially with her body shutting down. My problem with this film though, and I had a little problem. I felt like I wanted more of, more obstacles for her. And I felt like we shouldn't let her body shut down so soon. It should have been a little, a little bit more gradual. Just let her go through a few more challenges. Because I did like some of the challenges that she was going through. And I'm like, oh, how's she going to handle that? How's she going to deal with that? And I thought that's what we were going to get. More of that, more, you know, more challenges. But, you know, they did okay with it. But, and of course, with every thriller, there's always some dumb local people. <laughs> but one of them was decent, but... The, the authorities here was just like, oh my goodness, where we get this officer from? Like, really? Come on. But overall, other than that, I enjoyed it. I thought it was decent. It wasn't the greatest thing. I think the previews made it seem a little bit more suspenseful than what it was going to be, though, at the trailer. But it was still suspenseful. There was not... There wasn't really any twist. I thought there was going to be like some twist or turn in there, but it wasn't. But overall, I enjoyed the performances, and I 
enjoyed the ride that they took us on, although I did want a little, just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more. And um, the ending was just, okay. You know, it was decent for me. It was decent. So overall, Don't Move, starring Kelsey Asbile and Finn Whitrock, who I recognize from the American Horror Story series. They did a good job. I enjoyed it. Like I said, it wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't the worst either. So I enjoyed it. I thought it was a decent film, a decent ride. Um, you want something to pass the time and watch it and you tune in. I think you'll tune in. Tell me your thoughts. What did you think about the film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, I know my friends, my friend absolutely hated it. I don't know why they hated it. I didn't think it was terrible. I thought it was decent. Like I said, it was just certain things. I just wanted a little bit more, a little bit more suspense. But other than that, I thought it was a decent film. So that's all I have for now. This is just a quick little review. Check out Don't Move on Netflix if you've already watched it. Let me know down below your thoughts on this film. Thank you for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.